we're back. We're in the mountains here. Uh, we're just west of Idaho Springs. We're cruising Idaho Springs. I've actually navigated there. So it's um, it's doing pretty good overall. Like it just it's going a little slow. I'll crank up the speed a little bit because it's just dragging in this lane and people don't want to drag in this lane. Um, it's navigating pretty well. There was a time it was trying to get into this left-hand lane, which is an express lane, but it's closed right now. I think it's closed for the season. So I had to cancel uh, self-driving a couple times because it kept wanting to go in there. But you can see that it's doing a pretty good job of navigating on these curves. It's being a little cautious and careful, which is good. Uh, we're a mile and a half away from the exit. So I want to see if it takes this exit and how it does. It did pretty good on the exit going east when it had to take the uh, Dillon exit um, when I engaged it. But now we'll see how it's doing here. Overall, I think it's going pretty well as the V12. Like, it's not great. Uh, it's slightly stressful because it's new, right? It's been two days for me driving around, and so I don't completely trust this thing yet. So I'm trying to keep an eye on it. Uh, you can see it's still got a 45 mile hour speed limit that I just caught, I think, from a construction sign or an exit sign. But um, And it's a little nerve wracking because some of these people drag into the edge of their lane, and so it's a little nervous to be there. But we're 0.6 miles away. Uh, it should be trying to change lanes here. Hopefully it does because I would like some lunch. But let's see. Give it some speed. Speed up. Come on, go. So that's interesting, right? Like, it's got to make a decision around that car, and I certainly don't want it to slow down. Uh, we're 0.3 miles away. Is it going to change lanes? Uh, yes, it is. Got to change. Got to change. Come on, change, change. So that's a little bit too careful to change. And because it's it's reading a 45-mile-hour speed limit, I think it's getting a little fucked up there. But in any case, apologies for my language. Now it's a 30-mile-an-hour zone. Uh, it's taking the exit by itself. I'm not doing this at all. Uh, there's a person with the dog, so it sees that person with the dog, which is kind of cool. It's creeping up to the stop sign. Now it's looking, and it's starting to go on its own. And it did it. It turned into this area. A little slow, like it's a very careful, conservative thing. It's coming up. There's a car there. Um, it should come over to the street, so let's see what it does. Um, it's coming, it's got the turn signal on. It's coming here, we have an always stop here, which most people don't stop for, but we'll see. And then it's gonna come through and make the turn. And now it's navigating into Idaho Springs. So, that's kinda cool. Uh, it's gonna go straight ahead and it's gonna stop. I'm gonna stop this because I need to drive and find parking. So, uh, pretty good job navigating here. Not a great job, but pretty good. So I'm gonna stop so I can make this turn.